hope you are all doing fantastically well. Let's see how this setup looks on camera. We will go from there, get a little live stream action going on. Happy, happiest of days to you all. Little hashtag DSKFS. Do something kind for someone. Hope you all are having fun today. Enjoying that beautiful, beautiful scorching weather we're all having fun with. <laughs> we have so many people in the chat early. Thank you all to Not A Channel, T Fetch, uh, channel member Greg Maroney, Ratchman5000, NFK, um, crew member, channel member, just like Greg Maroney, is Sean Lidicote. Thank you so much. Gonzo's here as well. Our master moderator and platinum crew member, Big Red EDC in the house. Give it up for Big Red. Dang Ross, member of the crew is here. James Alton, a member of the crew as well. We also have Joe Kasprick, Nick Groff, <laughs> Nick Groff's EDC. Don't want to say that wrong. Kevity Search is here, a <laughs> member of the crew. Uh, just cracks me up, Kevity Search. Oh, Father EDC in the house. Welcome in, welcome in. Rob Tenring, a member of the crew is here, as well as PNW Fun Stuff, a member of the crew. Thanks for being here. James Alton, member of the crew, sent in a cool email this week with a little bit of Red Class Benchmade inspiration on it. Thank you for sending that. I love it. I was uh, unaware of that belonging to that knife based on the designer you mentioned. So always good to see it. Leland Phil is here as well. Slim Tissue. We got crew members Will B and Ginger Fisher in the house. Ginger Fisher. Welcome in. <laughs> Granny's here as well. Remember the crew. Crispy Critter. Remember the crew. Chris Hinkle jumping in. M Bomb. Jerky in the house. A member of the crew. Craig Wilkes and Todd Kingery, both members of the crew. Thanks for being here. Hey, it's the Johnsons. Pedro Armstrong is here as well. Brewer95, member of the crew, is here. Matt is here as well. What's up, Matt? Joe Isabella jumping in. L Cap Attic, member of the crew, is here. Stephen Lowe is here as well. What up, Acid Test Kids, member of the crew? How are you? How are you? Steve O wins. What's happening? Welcome in. Now, if you haven't seen the chat poll, check it out. We're doing a little what's your status on the minis? Um, you know, a lot of, lot of knife dealers, not dealers, manufacturers, knife manufacturers, knife companies making the minis over the last couple years. So, you know, just kind of getting your, uh, your, your feedback on it, seeing what you think of the minis. Some for me, uh, my answer to that would be depends on the model. Some models are too small, um, including Benchmade has some smaller ones and some decent ones. Pocket metal in the house, gold class crew member and master moderator, welcome in. Don't forget, my moderators here, they got some channels of their own. So check out Pocket Metal, check out Big Reds. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe up, watch some of their content. Good stuff. Metal Mondays is where you really get to see the inspirational messages from Pocket Metal. So that's awesome. Ed Harrison in the house. What's up, Ed? How are you? Thank you for being here. Drink water, remember the crew is here. What's up, Siva Clamor? What's going on? Crispy Donut Community in the house, member of the crew, and awesome stuff. We're actually going to talk about something from Crispy Donut Community here in a few minutes. So thanks for joining in, guys. I appreciate that. They got the patch game on lock, you know what I'm saying? So don't forget, if you ever go there and order something, which we're going to talk about, Use the codes uh, DSKFS. No hashtag, but just like this, DSKFS. Get you a little 10% off. Goes right to the person ordering, though, which is awesome. I love it. Keep the knife freak in the house. Master moderator, how are you? The, the mini makes me mad. I have the 940-1. Now there is a 945-2. Ugh, the struggle is real. Yeah, they do that on purpose for sure. <laughs> What's up, Will B? Member for 11 months. Thank you, Will. Less mini, more XL. I'd love to see like an XL bug out. Um, I know they have the bailout, but do an XL bug out. Do some bigger ones like that. That would be great. Kind of like they did with the Super Freak. They brought the Super Freak out first. Let's do that. I know they did a mini. We got a mini Super Freak coming out this year from Benchmade to match the full-size Super Freak. 
And then of course we got the awesome full size carbon fiber version to match the mini dash one. We got pizza operator in the house. What's up? Member of the crew pizza operator in the house. B shady 22 in the house. What's up? All right. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Joe Isabella rocking. It says hot and muggy here. Yep. No, I hear you. I hear you. So overall, um, we got Twang Thang here. What's up, Twang Thang? Remember the crew? Jumping in. Uh, Matt says, I have larger hands. A smaller knife feels more like a splinter than a usable tool. Oh, I get you. I get you on that 100%. Does the small Sabenza count as a mini? I don't think so because they don't call it a mini, even though it should be because it's called small. So I would say probably yes because that reminds me of like a Griptilian, mini Griptilian. You know, when you compare a Sabenza to like a full-size grip, I think so. Delta 9 in the house. Thank you for that question. That is really good. I like that. Booze fishing. What's up? <laughs> Sounds like a fun weekend or late evening event. Booze fishing. <laughs> oh, that's terrific. So we have some really cool updates today. Um... I'm kind of in the same position as Big Red EDC. Uh, different, hmm, how do I say this? Um, different, I gotta be careful because I have some inside knowledge, you know? I gotta be careful what I'm allowed to say. Although I got like a NDA, a Big Red NDA hanging over my head. Um, what's up, Rado Outdoors? Platinum crew member and master moderator in the house. I love it. I love it. Thanks for being here. Todd Kingery, member of the crew is here. Zach must still be shopping at Harbor Freight. <laughs> always, always, always looking at the Harbor Freight specials. But overall, like, I'm in the same position with the post office as Big Red EDC. So we have um, a package there that I was so excited to show you what's in that package. And get working on it. But the even more frustrating part is I checked in, you know, post office isn't open on Sundays. You know, mine's only open half a day and like the side door only on Saturdays. So we can p still pick up like parcels in the morning. But I asked them, I'm like, hey, it's supposed to be delivered today. They're like, no, sorry, it's not going to. <laughs> That's why you sign language with just the news. Don't say, oh yeah. Yeah, I wish I could do that. That'd be awesome. Kevin Kirk, Gold Class crew member in the house, as well as Forrest SLR, Gold Class crew member, both jumping in. Thank you guys for being here. And so anyway, so the more frustrating thing is I get email notifications on my parcels and stuff, and it literally updated to our main hub in Portland, Oregon, late last night, and says, it arrived, and then it shipped out to my local post office, and it arrived at 11.30 p.m. Then... This morning at 9.30 a.m., it says, hey, it's been scanned in, and it's uh, going to be delivered tomorrow. And I'm like, come on, just deliver it right now. Like, can I go slip, like, some Pop-Tarts under the door or something, you know, so they don't have to open it, just put it in a parcel locker. Anyways, we'll have some fun with it next week. Um, oh, the package you sent me, too, will be delivered tomorrow? Awesome. I'll have two really cool packages then. Oh, Father sent something in. That'll be great, man. Thank you so much. CK in the house, platinum crew member as well. What's up, CK? Sobex Scooter jumping in. What's up? Oh, Sobex is working. Have you on speaker. Have a happy Sunday, y'all. Right on. I appreciate that, Sobex. Well, hopefully you can jump in a little bit. Uh, we'll have some stuff going on, which is pretty cool. Tom Weingart, crew member and master moderator in the house. What's up, Tom? Thanks for being here. Alicord Paracord, got the bomb power cord options. If you're looking for keychains and propuls, if you're looking for some of those like monkey fists or ball tappers, check out Alicord Paracord. I tell you, I mean, I know I preach it, but I got some awesome stuff. It's part of my permanent like EDC, the like keys, the bag, those kind of things. It's good stuff. Mrs. OCD in the house says, happy cheese. There you go, jumping in with that bomb nail polish. If you haven't seen it, go check out Mrs. OCD over on the Instagram to see those nail updates. 
and we'll probably see him tonight as well. Uh, any more of the uh, canned beverages on tap for tonight, Mrs. OCD? Just asking for a friend. <laughs> as we all had some fun last week. That was good. That was good. Oh, nice. Alicor said, Zach, you'll be getting a package from me sometime this week too. Oh my gosh. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And you know, I love to pass it on to everybody else. So that is great. Trying to teach myself paracortine. Oh, Kev, I did the same thing. I got like a couple things made. You know, I got, I got a little bit of stuff and I'm like, man, I'm not a professional. I, and I'm sure I could learn some of the really cool stuff, but you know, Mrs. OCD says no. <laughs> James likes the original green. Nice. Yeah, we'll take a look at those. Matt, Manny's here. Manny Z, platinum crew member in the house. Thank you, Manny, for being here and your support. Um, so this is what James is talking about. The OG. These are the mini Osborns. This is the 945. This is the uh, green anodized aluminum, black hardware. They went with the purple barrel spacers, which I dig that. So technically, if somebody does make some aftermarket scales, this is in the S30V, you can dial it up, but it's got that little bit of chalky feel, like the original and always awesome 940s. Of course, they came out with this one first, the blue and black G10, one of my favorites. You know, S30V, been carrying that one as well. Um, but overall, like you can't do any better than the gold class, right? They just did the gold class up. You know, this one will be probably throughout the rest of this calendar year. It's a limited, unlimited gold class edition. So if you're missing out on that one, you have the opportunity to save up, get a couple of them. Excellent. Dwayne Letterman in the house, a crew member. Thank you for being here, Dwayne. I love it. I love it. Now, one of the things also they came up with, oh, hey, it's the Johnsons are here. What's up? They just came out. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. Leave me a comment, but they tricked it up. They were like, we need the we need the dash one feel, but we're gonna call it dash two because there's already a dash one out. But we talked about them kind of you know getting the the numbers wrong, but they didn't want to tell them that there was something else coming out. I get it, whatever, uh, whatever the reasoning for marketing and selling knives. But carbon fiber S90V black hardware minus the access bar again. Uh, we won't talk about that on that one or others. I'm just kidding, but I understand. There's some, some issues with those. They're getting those worked out. But overall, a very classy, very upgraded version to what we all know and love from the 940 series. So you get the mini version. Big Red's dropping the links there. The 945-2. There's the cutlery shop link. Want to give a little you know support to some of the just you know knife dealers out there that aren't uh, normally known for bench maids. Um, you know, Jeff, his crew over there, awesome, fast shipping. They have it on there. I think it's like 305 or something like that. Still gonna cost you a little bit of money, but it's one of those that it's great for it. Uh Alicord says, Alice says August 5th in Bristol, Tennessee, the Tennessee Blade Runner HG is hosting the next knife meetup. Then I'm hosting the October 14th night meet knife meetup. Both will be at 1736 Edgemont Avenue, Bristol, Tennessee. That's awesome. That's really cool. You guys are doing that. I like to see that. What's up, Craig Wilkes? Member of the crew. But overall, Sharp Guy ATX, Gold Class crew member, just say no to chodes. It's all Mr. Wilkes. Salamando in the house. I haven't handled a mini, but I do love the feel of my 940 2 in hand like a glove. Now, that G10 feeling is great. I like, personally, I like the G10 and carbon fiber over the original aluminum, but the original aluminum's OG. I get it. <laughs> the Baird has landed. $2 super sticker. Thank you so much. The Baird has landed. We'll put that into the collection for giveaway and shipping. Right on. Jim Miller, member of the crew, is in line at McDonald's. What is up? You're probably outside of breakfast. So, man, non-breakfast non items at McDonald's. Hmm. Do you go, like, double cheeseburger? Do you go chicken? 
chicken nugget. Is your McDonald's good for fries? That's the big question. It's hit or miss. It's hit or miss. I've had good ones. I've had cold ones. I've had soggy ones. And that's, yeah. So anyways, that to me is like a telltale or telltale sign of a good Mickey D's. Slickamall's back in stock. I'm paying you not to buy it all. <laughs> Mrs. OCD, thank you for the super chat. Uh, you guys, I think I can do this too. Oh, I just, I, they put a new feature in that I can heart and like super chats. So that is awesome. Thank you for doing that. It only allows me to do it. It didn't allow me to do it on the super sticker, but on the super chat, yes. That is awesome. That's a cool little upgrade. I like that. Okay, okay. I won't buy all the slick them all. But I might buy some. I'm just saying. I only got a couple left. I'm giving it away. The stuff is awesome. Um, you know, it's just terrific. One of the people, I think we talked about it. Let me drink water real quick. One of the people that won a giveaway and had to choose a knife because it didn't work out quite right. The knife I had, there had been a scale swap and I wanted to be upfront and honest about it with them. So I contacted him afterwards. I said, hey, I know you won this knife. But there had been a scale swap. It's not everything up to speed. Stacy Bolster Blades, master moderator in the house, says, go get your Jack Wolf knives over at OCD3DC.com. They're 15% off right now. Got the load drag and the javelina. I love it. But that right there, Mr. McKenzie, what's happening? But one of those things is awesome because I, you know, they're great. Then I was like, hey, here's two knives, two totally different knives you can choose from. I did not tell them what it was like there's a slight difference in one of them because one of them was the original um and they didn't know that you know from the picture and the way it worked out it was amazing it was amazing like they got it they you know they sent me an email this week and they're like oh my gosh this is the exact one that i had given away a couple years ago i didn't like the upgraded one because of the uh, blade coating swap difference and this was one of the originals it was like an exact replica replacement of the one they had and they were like that is so fantastic and then they were almost out of slick them all bam slick them all in the giveaway package winner 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 so that was really cool so that was really cool how it worked out but anyways uh let's see who else we got in here oh casey knives fast gold class crew member on his way to his mom's house for a visit so don't forget the jet stream is available for pre-order tempestknives.com Jetstream pre-orders up there. Get that checked out. Stacy's dropping a link for Alicord Paracord as well. There's Alice's website. Check that out. I, I have to say, like, she made me that, like, and I and you could pick colors too. Just get a hold of her. You can pick some colors. Um, I went with blue and black on one of them. It was awesome. So uh did that. It was great. But yeah, the Tempest Knives Jetstream pre-order is open. Um, is our guy Casey Knives Fast right there dropping it um he's got a little monday live stream as well so since he's here we'll we'll plug it a little bit um <laughs> steve-o says i'm a bull boy from tennessee if i can order a jet stream and so can you get on it <laughs> what's up matthew russell how are you byron kennedy member of the crew jumping in thank you for being here both of you but i do have to say this um we're gonna do something a little unscripted and it's something I talked about a while ago. And some people just, you know, maybe they just got busy, didn't get interested. Maybe they watched too many other people's videos and was like, eh, I'm going to see the same thing. There's a link right there from Big Red for Jetstream or for Nice Fast Live for tomorrow. But I want to do something fun. And one of the things I want to do is there's two things. One is I want to get this out to you guys. So Crispy Donut Community, they have the CDC and Vosteed Raccoon. It's a crossbar. Look at this. This is this is a pre-order crossbar. I mean, this is right my style, right? Rule number nine, 
Platinum crew member, what is up? Thanks for being here. Jose jumping in as well. What's up, Jose? But pre-order, $59, okay? $59, drop point, three ounce, thumb stud, crossbar, tip up carry, G10. Okay, all I have to say is this. If you're thinking about getting a knife, ETA is late October, only 100 of each variant. The, the, the coated blade is sold out. <clears throat> sold out. There is seven of the satin left. And if you use the code DSKFS, you get 10% off. That covers more than your shipping. So definitely check that out. Go over to Crispy Donut Community. Get in on it. Check it out. Use the code DSKFS. Get your 10% off. It's $59 retail pre-order. So uh, 59 bucks. You can also do a little afterpay, you know, for interest-free payments of $14.75. That is awesome. That is awesome. So I wanted to put that out there first because I ordered mine in the satin. Uh, we're going to get that one, of course, in October. And I've done a couple pre-orders, so that's good lately. You know, we'll get some content in October, which is awesome. And I think I saw... Be Shady just gifted a membership, got his membership back from Kevin Kirk, a Gold Class crew member. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Big Red posting the link up there for Crispy Donut Community's Raccoon. Use the discount code DSKFS, get 10% off. Let's sell those out. Let's sell those last seven out. If I mean, there's enough of us here. We can go over. Do the pre-order for it. Get one. Like I said, the satin's the only one left. Let's sell them out. Would that be awesome? Crispy Donut Community's here. Let's sell the last seven during the live stream. So I'll check the status of that. Kevin, Kevin Search dropping. A, he's a crew member as well. Dropping a membership. Was gifted. Slim Tissue. Custom Benchmade owner and mod. Uh, how do you want to say it? Mod maker. Of bent custom bench mates. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin e. Search, and welcome back to the crew slim tissue. That is awesome. But yeah, I think it would be so awesome. Bama and GDC jumping in. What's up, Bama? But yeah, just saying it would be awesome if we could sell those out. So we'll see how it goes. We'll check in on it a little bit. But one of the really cool things I wanted to do was do a quick giveaway. YouTube comment picker. There's the link right there. Now we filter duplicate users. We've gone over here. We've only got 29 unique comments on this video. So this, I, like I said, I, I told you guys in the live stream, definitely check out this video. Definitely leave a comment. I said it a couple weeks in a row. I said it during the video as well, and only 29 people left comments. Um, I responded to uh, almost all those comments, I think. We had a couple of chat ones, so that's good. Kresk is here. What's up, Kresk? David H., remember the crew is here. Fly by guy jumping in as well. So we're going to do a quick giveaway. So let's go ahead. Let's start. Let's see who wins this special giveaway. And I'll, I'll show you what it is and tell you what it is right after we pick. So... Like I said, always got to check those videos, leave those comments. <laughs> What's up, Manny? Well, welcome back. I'm glad you got plugged in. Awesome. So let's pick it. Here we go. Here we go. B for Baron with the win. B for Baron, congratulations. I'll send a message back to B for Baron. But he said, I got 50 coins and I ordered the free light, LOL. I just don't have the money this time. Dang it. Well, Beefer, how awesome is that? Didn't have the money to, to buy something. This was for the summer sale for Olight, my video for that. So definitely check those out. But what does Beefer win? Beefer wins a cool swag pack, of course, from Zach Stuff, a little DSKFS patch, some Zach Stuff swag. Also, the O-Hanks, right? The O-Hanks. So that's awesome. That's one thing B forgot. And the other one is, oh, nice. 
Pizza operator says, all right, I bought a donut raccoon. Right on, right on. So there's only six left. I love it. Even one in 26 I lose, says Steve-O. Hey, you never know. You never know what the ne next one will be. Where's the beef? Rich T in the house. What's up, Rich? The other thing that Beefer wins is this Baton 3 Pro Max. We opened it up for the video only, but this is an awesome, awesome flashlight. So congratulations, Beefer. Thank you all to those of you who watched the video and left comments. I didn't sort them out by what I asked for because there was such a limited number, but almost everybody told me exactly, exactly what we we're looking for. You know, hey, did you spin the wheel for free to get something? Yes, he got 50 coins on his account. That's awesome. But so some of you actually got some cool stuff. Somebody else got a $15 off coupon. That was pretty cool. Matthew. What's up, Matthew? How are you? Welcome in, member of the crew. Oh, there's only four left, says Crispy Donut Community. What's up, Mr. Fluffy, member of the crew? Thank you for being here. So Crispy Donut Community said there's four of those satins left. And there's the link right there. If you want to check it out, go over and check it out. I appreciate that, pizza operator. Carco, member of the crew, jumping in as well, saying hello to everyone. Knives Fast, jumping in with a little $2 super chat. And says, at my mom's, talk to you later. Thanks, Zach. Well, thank you, Casey. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for the super chat. We got Bluminati Ninja jumping in. Member of the crew gifted a membership. And Joe Solomon got his membership back. <laughs> that is so awesome. Thank you all so much. Oh, my goodness. What do we have up here? What do we have up here? Did I miss this? How did I miss this? I was talking, busy doing the giveaway. Big Red EDC, master moderator, and platinum crew member donated, gifted five Zach Stuff memberships. We got Ed Harrison getting his membership back. Chris Hinkle is gifted a membership. Steve wins, and David Helka gifted a membership. And Salamando got his membership back. That is so awesome. Thank you, Big Red EDC. You guys, give a shout-out to Big Ready DC. What's happening here to my horn? All right, we got to redo the horn here. Thank you, Big Ready DC. That was very awesome. Like I said, check out Big Red's channel. Big Red, post a link to your channel in there. Brasher Beer and DE jumping in. DE's a member of the crew. Thank you for being here as well and your support. Paul Windmiller, Platinum Crew Member, jumping in, as well as Platinum Crew Member Mike Jernak. Welcome, you guys. Thank you both for being here and your support. So that is really cool. Also, I did a sale. Just dropping stuff, don't worry. All is well. I did a sale on some knives out of my collection. And I really appreciate the support from Zach's Daily Carry Crew because the crew members... They purchased four of the five knives right away. And I was going to do a separate video for the last remaining one. Pretty fly for a knife guy. Remember the crew is here. However, I figured I'll just show it on the live stream. Let everybody know. If you want an opportunity to pick this up, I have this one. It is a Quiet Carry ID. And it's Quiet Carry has got some beautiful knives. Of course, this one's black coated titanium carbon fiber little i guess end scale piece partial bolster it's a beautiful little flipper in l max has not been used i picked it up several years ago at blade show west it's a beautiful knife if you're looking to purchase this um you know retail on it's over 200 dollars. that's what i have into it so i'm taking a little bit of a loss but if you want to pick this one up uh, I'm selling it to anyone that's participating, watching this for 175 ship priority in the U.S. So I'm taking a hit, but hey, you know what? I got to pass this on. I don't want to hold it in the collection when somebody could be using it and enjoying this beautiful knife. So that's the only one left from the collection. Uh, CPM in the house. What's up? They were not all Benchmades. We had the Quiet Carry in there and we had something from Olight as well. So that's pretty cool. But, you know, just trying to get some good deals and pass them on to people. Jason Rogers in the house. What's up, Jason? 
it took everything in me to not buy that number 198. I know, right? Right? <laughs> that 198 was awesome. You know, I know Kev says, I don't want to talk about the sale. And that's the thing. There was a couple that people, people snatched a couple things up super fast. So anyways, this one, as you can see, the pivot's a little tight and I think it needs some slick -em all So the, the, the video on this one comes up here probably tomorrow or Tuesday where we tear this one apart. Um, I'm finishing up the video today, but I wanted to show it in its current style. It just needs that little bit of extra. Now, if you do give it a little extra wrist flick back, it'll come all the way back down, but I want a little more drop shutty. And just as a comparison, here is the full size on the left. Here is the mini on the right. So you kind of get a good idea of what you're looking at for each knife. Uh, we'll deploy both of them. So you get an idea of mini versus full size, but check out the video. We did a comparison of a lot of other ones. And there's the link right there. If you want to pick one of these 945-2s up, this mini. I know uh, CPM's like dying to get one. I think he's already got one on pre-order, but what's up, Don C? Welcome in. I have to say like, like CPM's got an amazing collection. Amazing. Lots of customs, a lot of, you know, super duper handmade, awesome knives. So I, but you know, I appreciate him being here and supporting. That is awesome. So thank you, CPM. I know we always have fun with the Benchmade conversations. <laughs> Richard Kaufman's here. What's up, Richard? How are you? <laughs> Blasphemy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. CPM's camping outside Benchmade's HQ as we speak. Yeah, he's waiting until they open tomorrow. Open, open, open. <laughs> uh, we do have something to open. So I want to show you this. Um, you know, And we're still rocking our channel unboxing knife from Keith the Knife Freak. So shout out to Keith. And Keith... I don't know if you've been following along on his Instagram and YouTube stuff, but you know, he's becoming quite the knife maker. So we're going to give him some credit on that one. You're picketing. <laughs> nice CPM. Uh, we got a couple things. If you recognize this bubble wrap, you know where it came from. Uh, took a little bit to get here, but like I said, I had to order this one and this is the warrior mini three in blue and black. So we're going to take a look at that. It's a gorgeous color and I can't wait. Uh, we got a few other little things. We got an i5 TEOS that I ordered. Um, of course, we got the free gift, the i1R2 Pro. You know, they sent one of these as well in my summer sale package to show. And, uh, you know, that might be coming up. You never know if that one will be given away soon. And then, of course, we picked up um, another i3 EEOS. So that's pretty cool. We picked up one of those. It's a great keychain light. So we picked up those, but we're going to open this one here in just a minute. Um, that was from my Olight purchases I made. Oh, Crispy Donut Community gifted one Zach's Daily Carry Crew membership. So let's go ahead and give a shout out to Crispy Donut Community. And like I said, they have that raccoon on pre-order for $59. Use that discount code Zach. Or I'm sorry, not Zach with them. It is DSKFS, even better. DSKFS to get your 10% off. So thank you so much, Crispy Donut Community. And Big Red's posting the links up uh, for the Olight. Don't forget to use the code Zach to get 10% off your order on non-sale items. Tori Casey jumping in. What's up, Tori? Thank you, Ed. I appreciate that, Mike. Thank you guys for giving the shout out. And Don C was gifted his membership back, so that's awesome. So any of the brand new crew members to Zach's Daily Carry Crew, uh, if you just got a brand new membership, send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. It's also in the description of the video here below. I want to get you some swag, some channel swag, some stickers and stuff. We'll get that sent out to you. So that's pretty cool. You missed the discount code? Yeah. Well, pizza operator, I'm sure if you get a hold of Crispy Donut Community, they'll apply that discount code for you. So reach out to them on email. <laughs> they'll, they'll take care of you. They're good people like that. Be like, hey, I wanted to use my discount code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So make sure to use that discount code. And I'm sure Crispy Donut Community will keep us updated on how many are left. There was only four left of the satin. So that's pretty cool. So that means three more were sold since the beginning of this video. So that's awesome. And they only made 100 of each. So your 10% off didn't work at my local Wendy's. Just tried it. Your assistant needs to look. All right, Brash Beer, we'll get on it. Let me take a note here. 
Hold on, we'll get a note. The Wendy's discount code didn't work. Okay, we'll make sure we get that. They may, maybe they need to push out a little update to all the the you know local stores. That's all good. Oh, lights, I'm out of here. What's up, Marcel? How are you? <laughs> Loot 10 Ticks, pre-order the Clydesdale. Stacy posting links up for the Clydesdale as well. Lots of pre-orders, lots of Kickstarters. Um, just that time, that's that time of year, you know? Getting some knives, knives going. I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's put these off to the side. We'll use these in the future. You know what I'm saying. We'll use those in the future. We'll put those off down here. <clears throat> Get a little drink of water. We'll open this one up. Order a satin myself. Did not know about the code. My bad. Oh, that's all good, Tori. You know, it saves you a few bucks. You know, usually cover shipping. All right. Let's open this one up. We got tape on the bottom. Oh, we got the pull tab on this one. Getting all fancy. Ooh, little pull tab. Okay, okay. And that means then we can open up the top. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. And it has an arrow, like pull this. Toss the box off to the side. Put the little pull tab away. If you like Olight, you'll like Workos. I haven't seen Workos. User care manual. Safety warnings. Don't shine it in your eyes, please, or others. Keep it for future reference. Just saying. This says, read me, but basically says, unscrew this. Take off the little tab inside so you know what you're getting. Got it all plastic wrapped. It's clipped in. They got the little magnetic charging uh, cable in here, so that's awesome. We'll open this one up. Get more pry bars from CBCDC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor Laura Gillespie of Alaya's Edge. Knife restoration service. That's important. You find any of those old knives, like maybe you got an old custom or, you know, a family heirloom. Something you want to, you know, have somebody take good care of. I've seen some of her work. It's pretty good. Yeah, I appreciate that pizza supporting the old crispy donut community. Same here, same here. That's why I purchased mine. I was like, I went on, had to make sure I got my purchase in. So we take the cap off so we can get that battery into use. Get some good use going with that battery. We got to press it out a little bit so we can get the threads going back in. It's more fun to do on camera, you know, just saying. But look at that blue and black combo. I think that's pretty gorgeous. And it fits, my, it fits my style. So this one's going in my bag for sure. But it's got the pressure switch. So you can like scroll through the different light powers. And then I think also if you like, what, which one is it at? Triple click. You can get the strobe going. So that's pretty awesome. It's also got a moonlight mode. Which is pretty cool too if you want to do moonlight. Um, now this one has a sensor in it. So if you put it in your pocket and it's on like crazy hyper mode, um, it's pretty cool. And you can program this bottom button. This bottom switch is actually a power one. So half, it goes half brightness and a full one, you get your crazy intense beam. So it's pretty cool either way how you do it. You know, it's got the switch on here if you're holding it or if you wanna hold it this way, tactical style. Maybe you wanna, you know, strike something it's got your little striker rim on there but no that's pretty cool that's pretty cool and i think max lumens are like 1750 on that turbo mode and the high is 500 lumens mediums 120 lows 15 moonlines 0.5 so that's pretty cool that's good stuff they had a good price on it um but don't forget you get 10 percent off if you want to order it afterwards it's always more fun on camera there you go but it's got the reversible if you truly want to wear this like on a hat so let's say you got your your favorite Oregon Truck and Auto Authority hat on, Department of Adventure. Shout out to Pocket Razor. Um, you want to clip this on and go for an adventure, then it's going to go wherever your head goes. So they make those. They're pretty cool either way. Um, they make them on the smaller lights as well, which is really cool. I use those quite a bit. But that's cool. That's cool. I like I like the color combo. I like the, you know, the aluminum feels good in the hand. So thank you so much. That is awesome. Now, if they just make some of the, that Roboto 3 in this blue color, 
<laughs> put a, oh father, put a little shout in for me on that. I know you saw it on the video, but what's up, Colby? How are you? That's cool. That's cool. What's up, Jay? Welcome in. Thanks for being here. Now we also need to do a pocket check. So let me get my let me get my drink of water, and then we need to do a pocket check, and I will show you what I'm carrying today. Just prior to that, I do have to say that I had breakfast this morning with Marshall Law One Two Three, and I got to see some of his cool new knives. Um, he had a cool one. Um, the Iridium from Kershaw, but it was in a custom titanium drop they did. And then also they had the, uh, he had the, oh, what's their OTF one? Isn't it like the stream, stream fighter or something? I don't know. I messed that name up, but he had the OTF and it, was, it felt pretty good. Very solid. I like the build that Kershaw did on that one. USA made. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. What's up, Squash Man? How are you? So let's put some stuff out there. I don't have the Seeker 4. I don't think I have the Seeker 4 in my collection. I have the um, i5 right here for a size comparison. Um, I have the Arkfeld with a little one attached for a comparison. Those are the comparisons I have right now. Livewire, Livewire. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Livewire. And it was pretty solid. I mean, for OTF built here in the U.S., I was pretty pretty satisfied with what Kershaw put out. Oh, you made it back from golfing. Nice, nice. All right, so go ahead, post up what you're carrying today. Can you stone someone and drop them? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, depends on the power you put into it. Crispy Critter has the American Blade Works Model 1 and the Kaiser Deviant. Yeah, I think so, Chris. It, from what I felt and checked it out today, I mean, we didn't do any cutting because we were in the restaurant. People were looking at us already weird because it's like we had a bunch of knives out and stuff. And we we're playing around with stuff, and they're like, "You guys good?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good." Um, live wire like the cruise Molly Cruise song. Oh yeah, that's a good way to remember it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Greg. Uh, Joe Solomon's got my Range Day Benchmade Barrage Blade HQ exclusive with OD Green Scales. An orange backspacer and blacked out Tonto blade and hardware. Nice. Nick Martino, remember the crew in the house? Oh, they did. Hogue built that for Kershaw. Oh, okay. That would make sense then because it's pretty solid. Paul Windmiller's got the mini Arius. Nice. And a uh, custom knife factory Davlis. That's cool. That's cool. I'll have to look that one up. I haven't seen the Davlis, I don't think. Uh, Brewer 95, remember the crews here? You got the uh, 945 Black G10 Oz, Mini Osborne and the Kershaw Secret Agent. James Alton, remember the crews got the Spyderco PM2 S35VN and the Peach Seed Bone Mini Copper Lock. Jim Miller, remember the crews got the Pony Stout Light Day. Y'all like the Arkfeld? I've been on the fence. The Arkfeld's okay. It's okay. It's got some good options. Mine also has the green laser. They also have the, uh, you know, the UV one that's out there too. They do make it in a blue though. So I'm like, Argh. but I got some flashlights, so I'm good right now. Uh, Salamando, remember the crew's got the ZT0640 and the Gerber Fastball. Rado Outdoors, Platinum Crew members got the Custom Mini Bug Out. Ooh. Uh, Douglas Dauntless, remember the crew is the 9400 Osborne Auto. I love that. Uh, Gator Aaron, remember the crew has the Benchmade Bugout 535 BK-4. The aluminum scales, those are beautiful. Modded, and my Arkfeld UV is right next to me. Nice. Chew Diver, remember the crew has the Beater 940. Outside, mixing concrete. Yeah, put it to work. I love it. El Cap Attic, remember the crew has the Manix 2. Craig Wilkes, remember the crew has the Kubi 322. Greg Maroney, remember the crew has the Kaiser Veritas. Sean Litico, remember the crew has the M4 Bailout. Solid choice. David H., remember the crew is carrying the Zero Tolerance, 0470. Nice. Matthew Coppola, remember the crew has the Spider Code, Jess Horn, Lightweight, the Lion Steel Best Man, and the 945 BK. It's a solid carry. Jay has the Spider Code Smock, and then the Rovi Vaughn Aurora 28. Workshop Bug Out for Rob Tenring, remember the crew. Oh, Oh, they made it in-house at their HQ. Oh, nice, nice. Little Kaiser. Okay, I mean, Kershaw, nice, nice. 
Uh, Hayes the Johnsons has the Kaiser Ian and the Boker Trapper and Case Peanut. Heidi's here. What's up, Heidi? Got the blue bug out. Nice, nice. Steve-O wins. Remember the crew has the Wee Thug XL and the Pyrite. Those are good choices. Big Red EDC Master Moderator Platinum Crew Member has the Traditional Pocket Knives Exclusive Red G10 Finch 1929. He showed that off last night on the old SKL. If you haven't checked that out, go give it a watch. Richard Kaufman has the Open Pro, the i3T, the Savivi Altus, and the Damascus Pry Bar. That's a, that's a good, solid, rounded carry. Um, let's see. Pizza Operator, remember the crew, is the Vosti Gator and an SBD Mini Evo, sharp by design. Um, can you warn a Pop-Tart on the live with that Olai? Oh, warm it. Oh, uh, yeah, probably, probably. I, I don't know if we have one, a Pop-Tart at all. We, that might be a good... Uh, Good little thing. Put it outside on the hot concrete. Uh, Ed Harrison, member of the crew, has the flipping the gunslinger in purple haze. Man, I love those colors and stuff. Those are so nice. Aries EDC, welcome, has the custom Savivi McKinnon and an Aries EDC bloom. Nice. Kevity Search, member of the crew, the second ever Spyderco Para 3 CPM S110V in midnight blue. Nice. Joe says, I, Zach, I still got that Kershaw blur. That would go great with them lights. Okay, I'm screenshotting that right now, Joe. I gotta, I'm gonna follow up with you right after this. Uh, I know we've been talking about that too. Stacy, master moderator, posting the link for M Bomb Jerky. Mouthful of meat, handful of nuts. Go order today. The variety flavors, also the DSKFS flavor, only for gifting, and that is a delicious one. So hook up with somebody else in the community, buy each other a bag of DSKFS flavored M Bomb Jerky. It is delicious. Um, yeah, yeah, I figured Kershaw made that one. That's cool, though. That's cool. Um, 8600 BK Auto Bedlam for Slim Tissue and a red Microtech Ultra Tech. Also carrying the CDC poker chip I won, says Crispy, member of the crew. Nice. Uh, Tori Casey's got the Towser K button lock with some awesome G card scales from Bill Pro X. Shout out to Bill. Um, let's see here. Kelly O'Neill says, Got to step away back in a minute. Okay. We'll see you in a minute. Napster Ninja says, hello, everyone. Got the Spiner or Spiderco Rhino today. What's up, Napster? Keith the Knife Freak, a master moderator, has the tactile rock wall and a chainsaw. Getting some work done today. <laughs> uh, so Zach in the Wild did a video on the fanny packs being manly. I mean, pouches. Any comment on if fanny packs are really back for a 53-year-old would look like a poser asking for a friend. LOL. The Bear has landed. Great question. I myself have a fanny pack. I have not worn it in many years, but after seeing that video, I'm probably going to have to start rocking it a little bit. They are back. You know, the, uh, the, the, the kids, the hip kids are wearing the, the big colorful ones and all that. So I think they're back. I think they're good. Something else to make us stand out, right? <laughs> oh, that's too funny. All right. Ooh, El Cap. Congrats on the win yesterday during the Gonzo live stream. Nice. Result has the Malkoff MDC 3.7 volt flashlight, the Moichant Mako AAA light, the Para 3 S90V lightweight, and AWT scales. Man, great choice. Kresk is carrying the Giant Mouse Ace Grand and LMAX. Stacy Master Runner has got the Echo and a pairing knife. Ooh, getting some serious in house work done. Just the Swiss Army Knife Explorer today for Brasher Beer. Demco 20.5 for Chris Bridgman, a member of the crew. Tucson TS399 for Bob. What's up, Bob? Joseph S., what's up? Has the Elementum Tonto, the Mini Tac Tonto, the Leatherman Rebar, and a Paraclaw. Joe Kasperick has the Reich P128SB, the Baby Banter, the Phoenix LD30, and a Big Red Coin. Rule number nine, Platinum Crew Member has the ZT0308, Victorinox Sapphire Huntsman, the Olight Baton 3 Pro Max, Olight Baton 3 Roadster, the CKRT, Minimalist Bowie, the rule number nine coin, the rule number nine forest Hank, and a big red EDC coin. That's so awesome. Concept Kratos and Timascus and a runt five for Joe Isabella. That's awesome. Matthew Russell carried the giant mouse, Jutland, and the Finch Cherry Bomb today. Mike Jernak, platinum crew member, has a 20 CV bug out with crossfade scales. Man, I love those crossfade scales. Just the salvation today for Crispy Donut Community. Nice, nice. Member of the crew. Uh, B Shady, member of the crew, has the Demco 20.5 Shark's Foot, the Migron Morale, 
Is it the Morale? The Devo Pony Stout. LP Knife Work says no minis here. I got my Spyderco Yo Jumbo Sprint Run and S90V with Thai Showside Scale. Man, that's an awesome solid knife. Peter, Therapeutic Edge, he uh, loaned me his to check out when he visited, and then I shipped it back to him. Man, that was pretty nice. That was a pretty nice knife. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, we went to Biscuits, CK. We went to Biscuits for breakfast. Uh, Guardian Tactical Recon 040 and the Olet Arkfeld UV for Ratchman 5000. Forest SLR, Gold Class Crew member, has the XO, the Yo Jumbo, the Olamic Busker, EDC Roundtable Coin, and a Forest Hank. Byron Kennedy, member of the crew, says, I am sitting and flicking my new Ontario Knife Company, RTAC 2, but as it's a 10 inch blade length, Camp Fixie. <laughs> my finger really hurts. I bet, I bet. Sounds super huge. And you guys, try to support as much as you can Ontario Knife Company. Kind of a bummer deal. They uh, got purchased and bought out by Blue Ridge Knives. Uh, the article that I read says that they're closing down the factory and uh, people there are having to try to find other jobs. So over 50 people getting laid off uh, as part of that buyout. So I don't know the, the future of Ontario Knife Company, but you know we all have them in our collection. I know that. Um, it's kind of a staple, but... It's what it is. It's what it is. It's a way of way of lives, way of knives. Um, Blue Ridge, you know, they're the knife distributor out in Virginia, so maybe they'll reopen there. I don't know. The community out there is pretty bummed. Over a hundred years in business and in, uh, in the U.S. going away. Uh, Will B. Remember the crew has the Demco eighty twenty Slim and a Spyderco Shaman in need of some aftermarket grippy scales. If anybody knows of them. Uh, since I'm in PJs, relaxing around the house today. Nice. Nick Groff CDC has got the Knife Joy exclusive Manix 2. Loving this thing. Um, their facility is tooled to make certain runs in-house. Ooh, take a tour sometime. Yeah, I have to get a hold of them. I went out there before, and they were just like, yeah, here's a discount card and some stickers, you know. I'm like, all right, all right. Um, they had a lot of stuff on display, but it was like behind glass on the wall kind of a thing in a case. So it wasn't as... Get hands-on, touchy-feely as Benchmade's uh, showroom, but it's all good. They were nice. They were polite. Uh, but I definitely have to make a trip back out there. And we got some some stuff in the works. Let's just, just say that. We might have some special stuff this week. So stay tuned. Dane Gavrilowski, Platinum Crew member, jumping in. What's up, Dane? Chris Hinkle, member of the crew, has got the Man X2 EMP relative, the Big Bro Jack. Smash the like button, says CK. The Echo and the Mini Nightshade for Granny, a uh, member of the crew. What's the giveaway this time? Did I miss it? No, Dane, you're good. You're good. Uh, we're doing pocket checks a lot of order. So we did a little giveaway off my Olight video uh, for people that left comments uh, a little bit earlier. So that was kind of cool. Uh, Bama Ninja EDC's got the Red Bug Out, the Growler, the Rough Rider Aptus Subjoint, the Essie Azula around the neck. Nice. CK Platinum Crew members got the Mini Claymore and a Murdered Out 940 Osborne. Nice. Uh, Dang Ross, member of the crew's got my Chop Spider Co. Smock and a Kershaw Livewire. And I, like I said, I'll tell you, that Kershaw Livewire is solid. It's solid. Much respect for them. And that Titanium one they did, um, that's pretty good, too. That's pretty good. So I guess, uh, you know, um, Martial Law 123 was just saying it was like something they just posted and jumped out there. So Don Earl, Donald's in the house. Remember the crew's got the Spider Coast Mock, the Kaiser Towser K, the Vostied Raccoon. Happily? Oh, happy Sunday. Oh, I was like, Hapoy? I'm like, the Vasti Raccoon Hapoy? I was like, maybe that's a, a custom, uh, you know, limited edition they released. Um, Siva has the Spyderco China clone just boating, so if I dropped it, no worries. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that, that would be a bummer. Like, oh, they don't float. Uh, Vertec makes a great fanny pack. Okay, I'll have to check that out. That's cool. Have a fanny pack, says Stacy. It's all loop outside for maximum patch brandage. Nice. Uh, pretty fly for a knife guy. Remember the crew is the Kaiser Domen Mini and a Cold Steel Airlight so far. Um, let's see. Uh, hey, it's the Johnson, says Zach. You need a windbreaker track getup to go with your fanny pack. I do, I do. That or some like a uh, uh, denim jacket and some acid wash blue jeans. What's up, Pocket Razors? Gold Class crew member. Gave you a little shout out earlier. A little look at the, uh, you know, Oregon Truck and Auto Authority Department of Adventure hat. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, Evil E's got the Manix 2 Saber Ground Blade. 
Uh, we got Double Detent, member of the crew, jumping in. We got OCD for DC, a member for 36 months, platinum crew member. I'm filling tubes of slick em all like a robot. I've got you on the big screen today, so I'm listening. Molly is a slave driver. <laughs> got to get that work done before you travel, you know? I need that slick em all, son. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I will be placing an order for more slick em all today. <laughs> I won't buy it all. I won't buy it all. I won't buy it all. Uh, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Uh, I had biscuits for the first time when I visited Kansas City earlier this year. The place is delicious. Nice pizza. Uh, Pocket Razors, Gold Class Crew member carrying the Benchmade 945 and a Mini Crooked River and an Olight Arkfeld. Nice. Yeah, Rat 2 started my collection, says Douglas. Yeah, we all we all have a lot of, you know, Rat 2s and other stuff. Oh, okay. Blue Ridge bought the remaining inventory of Ontario Knife. Factory's closing 56 out of work and they didn't buy the factory or machinery. That sucks. Bang, man. Titanium, Yo Jumbo, and a Tops felon, felony stop for double D tent crew member. Nice, nice. Um, ba -ba -da. Any tips on getting a tour of a Michigan knife maker? Hit me up. I'd love to film one. There you go. Bears landed. Yeah, so overall, it's just like establishing a relationship with them. Sometimes you can do it through their, you know, their media PR people. Sometimes you can do it from just, you know, taking a visit, explaining what's going on. Um, you know, each company is a little different. Some have some like, you know, personal things in there or super secret things they don't want to show people. So sometimes they'll let you do some stuff. Benchmate's kind of that way too. Like I'm still trying to get this one video approved and we're working through that, but I'm hoping it'll, it'll come to fruition this month. So that'll be good. So Bex is carrying the TRM nerd and Magna Cut. Ooh, that's a nice one. Um, let's see here. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da. Got the Kapara for Michael Morgan. Nice. Good carry. So do we get patches if we rock to the winner of a fanny pack with the largest waistline? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, man. If the, uh, if the full, if the little immunity is bigger, I love the looks of it. Yeah. I hope they come out with a bigger size immunity. That's my thing. Big time. Uh, there's a link for the live wire from big red ADC. Thank you. By the way, the live wire was in 20 CV, but newer models use, Ooh, newer models use magnet cut, man, getting my Kershaw attention there. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that. Salamondo. I don't know how people can carry 69s of flashlight and coin and pry bar. Uh, as long as you have a strong belt. Oh, they still have some Ontario on Amazon. Okay. That's cool. Nice. Thanks. Crispy. I got to buy some new slick em all Brent is pimping my lefty Sabenza. No way. I want to put it together without it. So good. Yeah, definitely Corey. Definitely. Um, let's see. Crisis averted. Nice. Oh father. Right on. Welcome back. I want a tour of the factory. Tell them you're the public health department. I need to do an inspection for any violations. <laughs> the more, you know, <laughs> Oh man, that's crazy. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. So I have something else that I ordered. And I ordered it like several weeks ago um, and it just came in, which is awesome. And I think you guys and gals will probably like it. So we'll move these off to the side. Uh, we took a look at those already. This is obviously the, the awesome Olight that I just ordered. Um, get the official name here because it's I know it's the Warrior Mini 3 High Lumen Rechargeable Dual Switch Flashlight. I love, I love that. And we just gave away the one that they sent out for review for the summer sale and B for Baron won that. So we'll be giving a little shout out to B for Baron so we can make sure to get that. But I think this is it right here. Very small package. Giggity. Um, <laughs> shout out to Floss. Um, let's see. We need a really fine knife. But what was I carrying today? So I was carrying... The uh, kind of a custom 550 Griptilian. This is an S30V, um, but it has those death grip scales. These are the slim ones. So they take the belly out of the middle of the Griptilian scale. Um, you can see a little bit how they have to put in a little bit of extra or leave some of the milling around some of these items because they went so thin, but it's awesome. PJ Crabtree, welcome, welcome. But yeah, it's a great knife. So we'll use this one to open this up. Now, for me, dude, did that not cut? What are we doing here? 
What's going on? Do I need to? Oh, I've been using this one too much. Well, we'll put that in the sharpen pile. Well, how are you? Can't cut plastic. Let's get a good old 940 out there. A little Cabela Special in D2. One's still got a good edge. Yeah, is that going to bench me? That's weird. So we ordered a couple Sharpies. Um, these are from Turkey Run Knife Company. Not sure if you've ever heard of Turkey Run Knife Company. Handcrafted in Mifflinburg, PA. That's a pretty cool one. What's up, Ed? Welcome in. So we ordered a couple Sharpies. So, you know, it's just to do some autographs. Um, you know, find myself out in the, you know, out wandering around doing my, my vlogs and people are like, yo, Zach, what up? Can you autograph my knife? And you, know, you autograph my shirt and my hat. And like, I'm like, yeah, not a problem, not a problem. But I don't have a Sharpie. Um, that was embarrassing. Like I have a dual bench mate. Like what is up? So work sharp coming your way with this bad mamma jammer right here. We got to get that one sharpened up. Um, so I got another project for today. Um, but yeah, so Turkey Run Knife Company, if you haven't seen them or checked them out, there's a link right there. Oh, you just sharpened three last night. Listen to Stevie. Nice. Yeah. So these are cool. They have orange, uh, and black, you know, standard Sharpies, but I don't know, like if you can tell, this is the fine point version. I don't know if you've ever seen a Sharpie before. Um, but yeah, fine point. Now this is a really fine point Sharpie. So you can really get some really good autographs done. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So what's up, Laura? How are you? Welcome in, Laura. So if you check these out, these do not write. These do not write. Um, but they do, you know, on any of those areas where you may have to encounter, you know, or leave something in the vehicle or whatever. Um, these right here, ever signed a brass? Not yet. Not as not as a not as a uh, knife creator. <laughs> Back in my rock star days, like that was an everyday thing. I always carried a sharpie. But one of the things this is an ultra fine point, but it is not made to do any writing officially. But it is something that you can put in your pocket. It's not going to set off any alarms or anything crazy. But I would say. Yeah, right? Zach leaves a trail of fainting women when he goes out. Be like, what's up, ladies? What's up, fellas? Um, but this is really good to have in your kit or to carry in your pocket or to carry in your bag. Um, we'll just say that. But they do have like purple. I was looking for a blue. They don't make a blue um, that's current. They have an orange one, though, as well. Um, everything looks good. Everything looks the same. But check out that link that Big Red posted. Go check out Turkey Knife Co. Um, they do some really cool things. Now, this is this is one of those like, what do you call it? Um, <laughs> you signed a man boob once <laughs> for Shane. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you leave notes. On, uh, my wife pisses her off. Oh, there you go. Sharpie is a daily carry. Now, like I said, Big Red's posting link again. Right, exactly, pretty fly for knife, guys. So this is one of those, like, you know, carrying a coupon would be too much. Now, there's also another company out there that makes a different cap for these um, with a little ring on it, you know, for everyday carry, let's say. Um, but this is one of those where it's a fine point, and the fine point is made out of G10. And this is mounted inside here. Those kind of things. These come from the real Sharpie, so it looks and feels real, legit. Um, but I would recommend you check out the site. Go check out that link and just see what they are officially. They have a little more description in there, but as you can tell, these are something that you know could be used in a situation to keep you safe. I think we'll just say that. But Sharpie, it's a permanent marker. <laughs> so anyways, if you get the point, wink, wink, um, you know what I'm saying? So definitely check these out. These are a really cool option. I wanted to order, um, a blue one. So I'm going to keep my eye out for that. Uh, yes. Uh, Douglas, according to their website. Yes. Yeah. Right. Bama. Yeah, exactly. Brand new American member of the crew says keep ink. 
all in my tool bag. Nice. Nice. Keep inks all. Inks all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Stacy, these are these are pretty awesome. So Oh, Laura says she just finished up restoration on a Hogue Deca. I'll post pics on Instagram later. Nice. Okay. And Stacy posted the link up. So yeah, definitely check that out. But overall, yeah, this is one of those um, passing the test kind of thing. Yeah, right, Mike? Exactly. This is a permanent marker. Yes, Will. This is a permanent marker. They're very pointy. Um, as you can see, you know, it's one of those things where you just got to, you know, leave your mark, let's say, if you want to come up with a good hashtag. But yeah, uh, don't forget to hit the like button. We're going we're gonna to check out something else here, I think. I got to look at my list, but these are pretty cool. They're very affordable, I think, for what you're getting. And definitely something to keep in your everyday carry bag, so to see, so to speak. John Wick pencil stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's all kinds of permanent. Yep, exactly, David. <laughs> you want to kill a three-man in a bar with a Sharpie? <laughs> uh, Peak a mechanical pencil for carpentry is a game changer. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly, Tori. Yeah, they're all they're pretty awesome. So, you know, if you want to check it out, it's pretty good. Uh, you're looking for a fine tip. Pika is the answer for that. They have pencil, permanent marker, and ET. I've seen some really good ones. Yeah, I, I've seen the Milwaukee ones too. Uh, pretty fly. Inks all. Yeah, I, I've heard really good things about those. Mimo Zach in, is the baby, is the Baba Yaga. <laughs> Mimo Zach is the Baba Yaga. <laughs> Nice, Mike, nice. Crispy Donut Community says, Zach, you should look at PHL knives. Okay, okay. I'm going to screenshot that right now. What's up, Cheeto Bandito? Thanks for jumping in. Welcome in. Zach is John Wick. Yeah. Wouldn't that be awesome? Be like, what? So, overall, we have some new stuff that obviously came in, stuff that I ordered. Um, we have the, the new Mini Osborne as well. We'll put that on display while I uh, check my notes here in a second. And then we also have, of course, you know, the Sharpies. So that's kind of fun. Now, uh, Crispy Donut Community, like I said, they have their raccoon knife, the crossbar lock, special edition from Vosteed, uh, pre-order. They had four left of the satin. The black coated blades were all sold out. Uh, where are we at on that? Because you can get your discount 10% using the code DSKFS. And only $59. So are we close to selling those out? I'd like to sell those out. That would be awesome. Um, I'm just looking at my list, making sure I covered everything I want to talk about today. And there's a link right there from Big Ready DC as well. Be for Baron. Did Beaver show up yet? What's up, KK? Remember the crew? Have we had a Beaver sighting? David H., welcome in. Remember the crew? Is Beaver here? Beaver Baron, platinum crew member. Watching, taking three while listening. Bro, send me an email. Zach.edc at gmail.com. Okay, you got to go back and watch like, I don't know, what were we, like 10, 15 minutes in, something like that. Oh, you've been here all along. Oh, congratulations, man. Well, hey, the DSKFS worked out. Um, the random comment picker selected you. You won that awesome flashlight, a Hank, and a swag pack. So shoot me that email. That way I can get that mailed out to you tomorrow morning. Okay, so there's still four of those Crispy Donut Community raccoons left. Does anybody else want to buy one on pre-order before we uh, wrap up the live stream? Because that'd be pretty awesome if we could sell those out. Just saying. Same. That's cool, man. Beaver was listening to us all along. <laughs> Trash Panda. Yeah. Where's the beef? Man, those commercials, they date me, but those commercials were funny. Watch those growing up. Where's the beef? I, I wish they would bring that back too. Like, you know what I mean? Like a retro commercial. You know, with like maybe get Wendy involved and stuff because their social media is like pretty on point. And I don't know if you've ever seen 
Wendy's social media, but they, they keep it popping on there. Who wants to be sweet as sprinkles and order one for me? Oh, order one for Stacy. It's wild to think about the other 190 of them going in less than four days. This community is amazing. Yeah, see, that's so awesome. So they've almost sold out all 200 of them. All right, there you go. Stacy put it out there. <laughs> Who wants to be sweet as sprinkles and order one for me? There you go. Then there would only be three left. <laughs> All right, we'll roll with that. They're going to need a new old lady as that was the 80s, homie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. That's why I said get Wendy involved. Like, they did some commercials here in the last couple years that had Wendy, right? Might not be as good, but... I'm looking for the jet stream, sugar daddy. There you go, Ginger. <laughs> uh, money is tight as a fanny pack. There you go. Got to loosen up that fanny pack strap a little bit. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Hit that like button. Heck yeah, Bob. I think we're getting close. We're, we're not even at 100 likes yet. But we've got 113 people in here. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get Mrs. OCD on the on the point here, and you know, be like, well, if we don't hit a hundred likes, then she's not drinking any canned beverages tonight. But no, let's talk about that really quick. Um, <laughs> squeezing the charm, right, Big Doug? Big Doug, you guys, membership, nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Wendy's for lunch. I love it. I love it. But his grandson pitches for the Rocket City Trash Pandas, the LA Angels minor league. Oh, that's cool. That's fun. I like I like those minor league games too. I like the new rules on the major league so it doesn't, you know, drag on so much. So that's kind of cool. But <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and talk about what was that? We got action. Somebody sent me a text message. Oh, nice. Nice. Got people sending me messages. Just bought another crispy donut community knife. Nice. And use the code. Well, thank you so much. I don't know if you want to be recognized, but I'm happy to recognize you if you do. But if not, thank you for purchasing one of those. Cause that's kind of cool. I just think it'd be awesome to sell those out before we close out the live stream. Like done doing work, do work, son. I don't know if you guys know that reference. Do work, son. I would love to have that, but I think there's still maybe a copyright on that. I'd have to double check before I start using that. I have a shirt that says do work, son. <laughs> Especially on Twitter. One less available now. Ordered one for the wife. Our birthdays are in October. Oh, nice, Will. Very cool. That is awesome, Will. Thanks for doing that. Snag a penguin last night. Nice, Doug. Trying to recoup losses from last week. Oh, no. Okay, cool. So, yeah. So, uh, Will B ordered one. And then also OCD for EDC ordered one. So, that's awesome. So, we should only have a couple left. So, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's only one left. There's only one left. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? Don't forget to use the code DSKFS when you check out. You'll get that 10% discount, which will cover your first class shipping. <laughs> Got to run. Have a great one. All right, Joe. Take care, man. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Pizza operator's like, bro, I got some knives for sale. And don't forget, if you want the quiet carry ID, send me an email. Zach.edc at gmail.com. Never know. Never know. Um, but yeah. But yeah. We'll work on that. It's a flipper, so I get it. We can't really send it international too much. But it's one of those things, so... But yeah, so I also want to just mention the other live streams going on. Um, obviously, the community is awesome, but I tried to use the code eight times so I could get 80% off, but it didn't work. <laughs> and bum, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, right? Wouldn't that be cool? You just click, click, click. There you go, Kev. Big Black has a clothing company called Do Work. Yeah, uh, so Big Black was on the show with Rob Deerdick, right? And they had a show, Big Black, Rest in Peace. 
Uh, Chris Boykin was his name. And I love that show. It was great. They, they vibe really well. Um, and that was big blacks thing was do work, do work, son. And he was, he was like a security guard and did some other stuff prior to, you know, hooking up with Rob Deirdrick. So that was pretty cool. And my DSKFS has roots from Rob Deirdick because they had the fantasy factory was the show they kind of had on. It's, you know, it's been a while, but the cool part of that was, yeah, Don, yeah, you got donated membership. Heck yeah. What's up, Robert? How are you? I appreciate that, Robert. I appreciate that. Thank you. We're almost at 100 likes. We're at 98. So we're so close. Um, two Chavez. Yeah, in a week. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, the mini horse, Douglas. Yeah, they got the mini horse. And I watched an interview with uh, Rob and them afterwards. And it had been a couple years after the show had ended. And they were talking about how the mini horse was like this craziest, stupidest idea. And the horse was like super like aggressive, whether it was inside or outside and all the like backstory of it. And like, so yeah, <laughs> what he banned you got it. They're gone. Look at that. You guys are awesome. Who bought the last one? Ezekiel, what's happening? Welcome in. 100 achieved. Nice, Salamando. Ezekiel got the last one, man. That is awesome. <laughs> so awesome. Thank you so much. That is awesome. I don't I don't get a kickback from this, you guys. This is solely community-based. Um, I like that design knife, and it was like, I clicked in, and I was like, oh, man, there's not too many left. You know, there was like just a small portion left, and I'm like, ooh, man. So I was like, man, we, we could probably sell those. People order those up. 59 bucks plus the 10% off. Like, we can get that going. So that is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Shout out to Crispy Donut community. Keeping it going with all the fun, fun knives. I like that. And I think we're moving forward on a on a project. Us, us like myself, Crispy Donut community. So we're putting that together. So that'd be pretty cool. Oh, nice, Ezekiel. Found the channel two weeks ago. Seem like a sick community. Yeah. You guys, welcome Ezekiel to the community. That is pretty cool. Been here for two weeks. So in true recognition of all of the community, Ezekiel, make sure you go to knifetubeschedule.com. Check it out. It's a calendar that um, Scott N, he also goes by My Knife Journey on Instagram, puts together for our whole community. Our whole entire community. He puts in all the live streams, all the scheduled events that people have on their knife channels and stuff here in our community, seven days, seven days a week, like 20 hours a day. There's, there's usually something posted somewhere. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, welcome in Ezekiel. Welcome to the community. That is really cool. And congratulations. You bought the final Vostied crispy donut community combo raccoon. That was awesome. Cavity search donated another five memberships to Zach's daily carry crew. Cheeto Bandito got his membership back. Pedro got his membership back. Bob got a membership. Michael Morgan got a membership back. And Robert Douglas got a membership. That is so awesome. Kevity Search. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kevity Search. That is awesome. Really, really cool. Yeah, there you go. Everybody's welcome in. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That is really cool. I know, Kevin, he's like, dude, I was trying to get Ezekiel a membership. That's the hardest part. And I, I've been support, I've been supporting old Edgy American out there for months over at OCD for ADC, but he got me back. He supported me the other day and got me a membership back on, on a channel. So that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. One of us, one of us, one of us. I love it. All right. So, of course, later today, we got OCD for ADC. Uh, 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 Central. Oh, Big Red gifted five more memberships as well to Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you, Big Red. I love it. Okay, we got Joe Isabella getting his membership back. We also have Stacy Bolster Blades got her membership back. Bama Ninja got his membership back. Laura Gillespie got her membership back. And Dan Brock got his membership back. Oh, welcome back in, you guys. And thank you, Big Red, so much. That is awesome. I know, right? Yeah, totally, Kevity. That would be awesome. You'd be like, hey, we're, we're trying to get it. 
We're trying to get it. We're trying to get it. All right, so let's see here. We got that one going. Not a channel. What's happening? Welcome in. <laughs> That's so cool, you guys. That's so cool. Huge shout out to you guys for donating that. Also, pretty awesome that you guys did that. Yeah, JB is a man and master moderator. And I honestly, I can't wait. I just, I wish I, I wish I could share it with you, but I don't want to, I don't want to toot the horn that is not mine to toot. You know, sometimes you gotta, you know, wash that mouthpiece in between. And that's not it. But uh, the really, really cool surprise coming up on Big Red EDC's channel as well. So that's pretty awesome. Just getting into the knife community again, getting the collection to grow. Got a Blade HQ Osborne, nice. A Mini Crooked River, nice. Now the new Crispy Donut. That is awesome, Ezekiel. Well, welcome in, man. You got a good collection going. That is pretty cool. Stella is going to be on live today at 3.30. That's cool. That's cool. Stella's back a little bit, so that's good. Welcome her back in. Make sure to visit her. Uh, we also have Edgy American tonight, which is cool. Uh, he's, what, 9 p.m. Central? Um, so two hours after... OCD for EDC. And I think we're going to have to talk to OCD for EDC on their live chat today about a little bit of what happened last week. And I don't know if you watched Edgy American after OCD for EDC, but they appeared on there as well. What's up, Kevin? How are you? Welcome in. Appreciate you being here. <laughs> it's a rabbit hole. It's a rabbit hole. It's a rabbit hole. It's a slippery slope. It's raining memberships. It's a raining memberships. It doesn't fit. Hallelujah. Nope, that's awesome. To toot or not to toot. Hashtag, exactly. Yeah, no, I'm not tooting that horn. No way. Yeah, it was a blast last week. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Uh, and the Crispy Donut community goes live Monday through Friday at 4 Central. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Don't trust YouTube, Google with financial info so I don't buy subscriptions here. Yeah, no worries. No worries, David. Yeah, that's how it goes, man. That's how it goes. You know, sometimes you just got to trust what you can and go from there. Oh, nice. Yeah, Justin fixed your knife while he was half-wasted. That was funny. That was so funny to watch that. <laughs> All that go down. <laughs> Fleet of ships. Yep. That's so cool. Okay, so any updates on clones, destruction? Yeah, so I got a list, but I only have about half a list of... Uh, destruction test to do. Uh, we have some final testings that are pretty good. Um, I talked with two different people this week about helping me out with the video production end of the final destruction video. So I think we have it dialed in on what we're going to do. And I just don't know the location yet. So um, I have a couple friends who have some property where we might do some final testing of those clones. But... <laughs> Mrs. OCD says half wasted question mark <laughs> smiling face. <laughs> yeah. Jim got his knife all fixed up. So it just shows the talent right there. OCD free DC, even a little distracted. He was good. Bama says I can see Zach at studio 54. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> uh, all about moderation. Yep. Definitely. Definitely. Um, so definitely check out knife tube schedule. It's where you can go. You can see like Hey, what's on right now? I got a few minutes and get, you know, sucked into the rabbit hole there and uh, watch some really cool live streams. So appreciate Scott in my knife journey doing that. He also posted over on Instagram every day. So that's pretty cool of him to do that too. So let's go ahead. We got plenty of people here, plenty of time that we've been here. Um, a super huge, awesome thing of selling out the, the Vostied Raccoon uh, Crispy Donut Community Special edition pre-order don't forget your sharpies they're very pointy made of g10 that's all i'll say but go check them out over at turkey run knife co and then of course the beautiful blue and black that's going to be added in my collection carrying that every day that's probably going to take the place of the i5 you know it's rechargeable it's way brighter must go by activity <laughs> Split a bullet with the blade remotely. Oh, that'd be a hard one. But if you have any um, extra ideas about testing, like even if it's like, you know, simple testing that may not destroy it, but maybe a durability one, send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. Because like I said, I got about half of what I want for each one. 
because I split them up into different groups. So, yeah, I'm open for some more input. Michael Morgan, member for three months, says, hashtag Big Red 10K. Big Red's on a push to get 10,000 subscribers, which is an awesome, awesome accomplishment. So if you can help them out, I would imagine most of you are already subscribed to Big Red. But if you're watching this and you haven't seen Big Red EDC, go check him out. Give him a follow. Watch some of his videos. He's got a good variety, and he's a he's posting machine. He's got he's got videos coming out daily. So just hit that bell. You just you, you pop up. He's doing a live at least once a week. Sometimes you get two middle of the week. You never know. Yeah, hundred percent. How much weight it'll take before it breaks the lock? Ooh, that's a good idea. I like that one. Yep, 100%, David. What's up, Southpaw Knives? Will it blend? That would be a good destruction one. That would be a good destruction one. But I don't know how much that steel on that blade, but we'd, we'd definitely test what steel they're using. Yeah, Zach's on his. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I'm mod, I'm mod up for a few people. Try to help out. Under 1K. Yeah, you guys have been moving good, though, Crispy. That's good, though. <laughs> M-Bomb's like, I got something you can use to borrow for testing. Just wear gloves and throw it in the river and you're done. Oh, man. <laughs> can it survive a butternut squash? Ooh, that might be a good one, too. Jetstream over on KC's. Enough pre-orders. So you can go ahead with pressure. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about that earlier as well. He's got his pre-order going for his Jetstream. You check that one out. That's a good one as well. I think we did the uh, the Kickstarter for the the new NAFCO or NAFS knife, so that's good as well. Let's see, what are the other ones we have out there? I think those are the ones pending right now. And Stacy posted the other the other one up earlier too. Poncho one fifty one platinum crew member. Didn't think I was gonna make it before you were done, but here I am. Thanks for jumping in. That is awesome. All right. Well, let's do a little giveaway. How about that? Should we do a little giveaway? I like that. I like that. We just got a, a message, but I can't read it. Uh, okay. So Stacy posted the giveaway rules as well. One guess, one guess only. One account per household only. Closest without going over wins. If a tie, there's a knife off. Round two. U.S. addresses only. Must be 18 and up. Good luck, you all. My screen and my moderator screens will be final. Oh, you hit me up on Instagram. Oh, that must be what I just saw come through. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I saw a message just pop up and I was trying to read it and it, it went away too fast. I'm like, okay, okay, not a problem. Put it in a watermelon and either drop it or shoot it off. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. That's a good one too. I like those. Duly noted, duly noted. Oh, Robert's playing for Stacy. All right, so we got some stuff squeaky chair but let's take a look we got something that was donated a handcrafted knife from pnw fun stuff this is in bolivian rosewood bolivian rosewood handcrafted pen made out of bolivian rosewood just the beautiful craftsmanship it's all nicely sealed i don't want to say like lacquered or something but it's got that good finish so you're not going to have too many problems with the wood Got the pen insert. It almost looks like the top end almost looks like a bishop. Like playing chess. But that's going to be one thing that is in the giveaway. So that was sent in. You know, PNW Fun Stuff sent a few in. So if you have, if you like one, or maybe you're like me and you're like, there's a certain wood you like and maybe a certain design you want, then send it in. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. A little rook. Yep. What's up, Todd Carr? Remember the crew? The North the North crew member. Oh, you won an old Lamech from Shabazz. Nice, David. That's awesome. That's really cool. So yeah, definitely check that out. Um, and I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. Bishop Rook. Yeah. A little bishop. It's all good. Yeah, you're not playing the old competition chess, like hitting the timer. I've watched some of those tournaments. And it's crazy. Crazy goes crazy fast. Uh, all right. What else can we put in there? How about 
a swag pack full of swag. I'm just throwing, I'm just throwing stuff. <laughs> we'll also, we have to include, of course, the slick -em all brand new tube of slick -em all from our good friends, OCD3DC.com. It's not going to rotate, is it? I was like, let's rotate it so we can look at the label, but all right. If you know, you know, you can use it without these awesome tips, but it comes with a really bendy, flexible one and this hard blue one. Oh, a G10 pen. That would be nice. Probably be hard to carve, but that'd be awesome too. So slick them all. If you don't win and you got to get some to your, you know, knife maintenance pouch or toolbox, go over to OCD3DC.com. You got Spyderco's. And if you haven't seen what they do, they have a compression made easy. It's a little colorful tab that goes on there. Yeah, it was fun, Ed. I mean, that's the thing. Like, I bought one, and I was like, man, there were so few left. I was like, we got to be able to sell those out. Oh, you just got some Slick them all? Made your go jumbo slick? Nice, nice. That's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, the North crew members. Yeah, you and Michael? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, Martial Law 123, member of the crew and master moderators here. What is up? Man, did you did you go to sleep yet? Marshall's working those 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 night shifts. But like I said earlier, uh, we talked about, had a little breakfast with Marshall, so that was pretty cool. Let me open this really quick so you can see what you're getting swag-wise. Because we got a little OCD for EDC patch in there as well, which is pretty cool. Got the OCD for EDC patch, which is awesome. You, of course, have the DSKFS patch. Do something kind for someone. It's the hashtag from here that we created for the community. You know, you got to show the community some love. Little Zach stuff swag, the holographic DSKFS, more Zach stuff. Benchmade, you can only get at the factory store. Some more swag, some crispy donut community swag. Shout out to them. Some OCD for EDC with that American flag background. Little Journey Tool Co. Oh, they're here in Oregon. Let's get high centered on some pelvic bone. Brought to you by OCD for EDC. Some more OCD for EDC that, you know. Shout out to Mrs. OCD for EDC. She sends me some swag with the with the uh, the slick em all orders, so that's good. O tip, other than intended purpose, rocking his swag. Of course, you can't forget Big Red EDC, of course. That beautiful cardinal coming at you. Uh, we got the snake pit from King Snake Jake. We got eggs and ham 22. Good friend David over there. And of course, Oregon Truck and Auto Authority got that Department of Adventure, Super Squatch, little DSKFS. I like that. That's pretty cool. Get that squeaky chair. We'll put some slick all in there. I don't know if it'll work on plastic, but we'll give it a whirl. Uh, Marshall, thank you so much with the super chat. A little hashtag DSKFS. It was great to meet you. I was also commenting earlier, Marshall, that you know, Kershaw did a really good job on the live wire and uh, also that uh, titanium release. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Be shady with the new membership. Uh, send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. We'll see if we can get that in the swag pack for you. So, uh, new channel members, we get some swag out to them. So, definitely do that. Uh, first off, there's the giveaway rules again. One guess, one guess only. Close without going over. Round two in case of a tie. Guess from one profile only. U.S. address is only. Zach screen is final. And I do have to say, give a shout out to all the moderators here. Um, they do a lot of work behind the scenes. Uh, for whatever reason, anytime you use emojis, it seems to like, I don't know, maybe a third of the time, it flags them for review. So myself or the moderators have to go in there and approve those before they hit the chat. Um, it's one of those behind the scene things that you just don't know about unless you have a channel. And the moderators are like very, very awesome for taking care of that stuff. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, so they do a lot of work behind the scenes. So like, yeah, so Mike Jernak posted some stuff. Ginger Fisher did. Ginger Fisher's was just held for review and it has to get approved before it gets posted. So it's just one of those weird things. But give a shout out to the moderators. Mods are the backbone and they're so awesome. So to all of my mods here, thank you so much. We got 
Let's see if I can name them all. We got Tom Weingart. We got Big Red EDC. We got Stacy Bolster Blades. We got Martial Law 123. We got OCD for EDC. Um, I'm missing one here that I saw earlier. I'm cheating. I'm trying to look in the comments. <laughs> but you see a wrench next to their name. You see their name in blue. They are a moderator of the channel. And they're really doing awesome work behind the scenes. So thank you so much to all of you for helping out. That is crazy awesome. Oh, yeah. Rado Outdoors. Rado Outdoors, another moderator. So Cursor sits right here. Ready to approve. Ah, I appreciate that. That is the work right there. Thank you, Moz. Yeah, definitely, Ed. Lord Needham, what's up? All right. I refer to mods as tools because the wrench. Yeah, they are all fantastic tools in the tool chest of this live stream and channel. So thank you. All right. So what else can we put in there? Let's see. How about this little Olight, the IR2 Pro, little USB-C rechargeable keychain light. And it's got that beautiful little texturing laser marked on it. Don't know if you can see it on there, but it's pretty cool stuff. How about right there? It's a pretty cool little keychain light. Very bright too for what it is. I think this one puts out 180 lumens on high. It'll, it'll run for 23 minutes straight on high. So, And then on the low setting, it's uh, 12 hours at 5 lumens. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. IPX8 too, so you don't have to worry about it. It's getting wet, you can just shake it off. <laughs> don't shake it too much. Just shake it off and move on. <laughs> yep exactly exactly all right so let's see here uh is there anything else we can put in today's giveaway how about something sharp how about something sharp that was sent in from o knife and that is the freeze and this one's in that beautiful green aluminum 154 cm and i think with this one it's going to come with a coin too right because it's a 154 cm and we looked at that one they have the pouch and all that so we'll just we'll open it up so everybody can see what's going on with it but yep it's got the beautiful coin too look at this oh snap that's that's incredible for the freeze so that comes in the carrying case with the beautiful knife look at that beautiful i love it okay so let's put all that. That'll be in today's giveaway. We'll put this out here right here because we're going to need something to hold down that paper. What's up, BC Jerbs? Remember the crew? Welcome in. Now, the question is, where my paper went? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's see. Let's find some paper. We don't want to use a Kleenex or anything. That's kind of weird. Like hashtag weird. But I think I buried it, so... Stand by, putting everything off to the side. Got to move some things. That's Beefer's win. Oh, it's underneath Beefer's win. That's where it is. I'm like, where did I go? All right, so you guys saw the rules. One guess, one guess only. Close without going over. Ties go to second round. One account only, please. U.S. addresses for shipping. Let's see who is going to win. Let's use our Sharpie. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so we're going to go with a range... that we will have on point. I should create these ahead of time because it's like, when I create them on the fly, it's like, oh, man. Congratulations. Okay. Let me make sure I got the spread right. I think I did a little different this time, so I just want to make sure I got it right. Yep, okay. All right, so there's the paper. We see a start from our master moderator, Big Red EDC. We will go ahead and get this giveaway started. We'll wait for the delay to catch up. There's the start. Your spread is 200 to 425. 200 to 425. One guess, one guess only. Closest without going over. Ties go to second round. U.S. addresses for shipping only. And as Stacy reminds you, be 18 years or older. Because sometimes your parents won't give you permission to play with sharp things. That's all good. That's all good. Marco, what's up? Huh? 
How are you? <laughs> Colby's here. It's always cool, too, because it's like when it comes to giveaway time, like the people that have been chilling, listening, um, it's cool to see you guys post. So it's like, I know you're there, and I know sometimes it's hard, like Beefer. You know, he can't he can't do anything until he's on break, you know, but he's like, bro, I'm listening. I got you in the ear. So that's pretty cool. Don't forget to hit uh, the like button after you put your entry in to win. Good luck to you guys. 401 for Zach Attack. There you go. There you go. I love it. Well, that's cool. That's cool. I'm glad I got in on that pre-order too because I saw that the other day. My week was a little weird. I had a lot of meetings, a lot of weird stuff going on at work. Um, so getting caught up on things and I totally spaced it until this weekend. I'm like, ooh, that's right. Because I saw their um, post, uh, on the, I think it was Instagram. And then I saw the video from yesterday, I think, or Friday. And I'm like, oh, I need to get in on that because there's only 100 of each. But huge shout out to you guys as well. Thank you for your support of the community and for getting that sold out. Now we can focus on some of the others that are out there. I know Stacy posted one. Um, and then... Big Red posted the other one too for Casey over Knives Fast for his jet stream, which you saw. And like I said, I'm super pumped on the million for that. You know, the million really makes a difference for me. But two new Dalka members going out in the mail tomorrow. Ooh, nice. Keith the Knife Freak is the designer of the upgraded Dalka. And really is the one who does the honorary crowning of those being brought into the Dalica community. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. He's got that going on as well. All right. So, uh, we got a couple things coming in. Iceman still got his guess in beefer brasher got their guesses in. Saw a little guest from OCD and for dang Ross and poncho beer copy. Ha 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 ha. So, yeah, so <clears throat> we'll give it about another 30 seconds, Big Red. Looks like people are getting caught up. We're getting some numbers in there. And then we will go ahead and get it selected for, well, really, whoever guessed it right. And we'll go from there. Or maybe they'll be around, too. I don't know. Yeah, you guys have a knife fight. Yeah, right? Ed's got his guess in. Pocket Razor's got his guess in. But, yeah, it's fun. You get a lot of cool stuff. Like I said, PNW makes those handcrafted pens out of wood. If you have a favorite wood type like mine, like I love Coca Bolo. So there was one of those Coca Bolo ones in there, and I was like, man, that's so nice. Such an awesome gift. But he sells those. Yeah, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. Thank you, Todd. I appreciate that. Uh, okay, so we got the guesses in. Big Red ADC has got the stop signs up. Let's go see what we have. And I think we will have a knife fight for round two because 313 was the number. 200 to 425, 313 was the number. So if I'm looking correctly, I saw Brasher Beer. So we got Brasher Beer, and then I heard there was somebody that said they copied them. So we will see. So let's go check. I'll go up to the start. Scott N., member for 23 months, gold class crew member, almost a platinum crew member, says, happy Sunday, hashtag be up. Thank you, Scott, and hopefully you heard. We gave you some huge props for all the work you do on your Instagram, My Knife Journey, and for Knife Tube Schedule, so that is awesome. So we got M-Bomb as well with 313. Was 313 too easy or something? Or is that like... A certain model number? I don't know. Michael Upchurch. <laughs> Dude, we're going to have a crazy round two. Okay. We're going to have quite the list, it looks like. Okay, Michael Upchurch. Some very close ones. So, unfortunately, Evil E. So, we got at least four. That I'm seeing so far. Let me go double check everything. Make sure I didn't miss any. Uh, see the moderators. And you guys are also posting in there. Big red for Salamondo. So Salamondo moved to the round two. 
Wow, this is like the biggest round two I think I've had yet. 313 must be like a, a fancy number or something. Okay, so I see five total. I see five. So, yeah, you're going to say 3132, you change your mind? Yeah. Put the numbers in the hat, yeah. So I have Brasher Beer, M Bomb, Michael Upchurch, Evil E, and Big Red voted for Salamondo. So Salamondo is going to be in round two. And Big Red says Brasher Beer, Evil E, Michael Upchurch, M Bomb, and Salamondo. Yeah, so that's, that's five. That's five. A five way tie, dude. This is a cage match. I'm putting everybody in the cage. Oh, 313 is the area code for Detroit phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, five, you guys. Five. Five, seven, five way. Is a Disney number seen in a lot of cartoons? Oh, okay, okay. Palm John Prime number. There you go. So, yeah, this is going to be exactly BZ. Finish them. It's going to be a cage match. So, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to do a round two. And it's going to be these five people will be guessing only. Brasher Beer, M. Baum, Michael Upchurch, Evil E, and Salamondo. So we're going to do a round two. And this will be closest. Doesn't matter if you're over or you're under. It's closest. So since there's five people, we'll make the spread a little bit bigger. Um... We're going to go to, okay, we got it. If you five don't want to fight, I'll take it so you don't have to. <laughs> Probably a secret society thing, that I, I would imagine, yeah. Yeah, right, a round three, wouldn't that be wild? Okay, so round two is going to be Brasher Beer, M. Baum, Michael Upchurch, Evely, and Salamondo. So round two closest doesn't matter if you're over or under those five people your spread is 70 to 99 70 to 99 it's on that paper right there those five people 70 to 99 <clears throat> so m bomb evil e michael upchurch salamondo So we got M Bomb with 76. We got Salamondo with 78. We got Evil E with 81. We got Brasher Beer with 90. So is that all of them? One, two, three, four, five. Um Michael Upchurch had 76 also. Okay. So I think I got them all. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> all right. Let's see here. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. So I think we're going to have a winner. Of course, no round three, I don't think. So we got those five messages in. I was 76 at least first. Yeah, right? You're right? Yeah. So round two, we had them all listed. But round two was 70 to 99, and the number was 80. So the closest one away is going to be Evil E. So Evil E had it. That is awesome. Evil E is the winner of this giveaway package here. That is so awesome. Now, congratulations, Evil E. That is awesome. Send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. Also, anyone else that made it. So the other four people that were a runner up to this, send me an email as well. Um, I'll send you some channel swag if, you will, if you'd like um, for making it to round number two. So that's pretty cool. Congratulations. Thank you all to those who did super chats and super stickers and all of you who gifted the memberships. That is so awesome. Thank you so much to my moderators, to all of Zach's Daily Carry crew. And most importantly, 
as a community, as our stream here, we can be proud that we closed out that pre-order for Crispy Donut Community. And don't forget about the others that are out there as well. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. Make sure to, we did something kind today, right? We took care of a pre-order that was out there. There were so many of you that gifted memberships as well and donated to this channel and all of your time to watch the videos. And don't forget, if you hear me say, hey, watch this video, leave a comment, or you're watching my video and you hear me say, hey, leave a comment, you never know what happens. Sometimes those pop up as giveaways. So pretty cool stuff overall. Again, have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Have a good week. Make sure to do something kind for someone. Hashtag DSKFS. But most importantly, we'll see you on the next one and take care.